in the previous video, we introduced the trigonometric ratios, sin, cos, and tan, which we used to find a missing length in a right angle triangle. So just a recap. So if this is the angle in the question, we call the longest side, or we always call the longest side in a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse, H. The one opposite the angle we're using, we call the opposite, so O. And the one in between our angle and the right angle is called the adjacent, or A. And we had three trigonometric ratios. So we had SO, which stands for the sine of an angle, sin theta. That just means the unknown angle is equal to O over H. Cos of an angle, the cosine of an angle, is equal to A over H. And TOA means tan of the angle is equal to O over A. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to be given two sides. So we're going to be given the ratio, given two sides, and we're going to use that to work out a missing angle. So let's look at an example. So this question says, find the size of angle ABC. So ABC is this angle here. The first step is to label the triangle. So the hypotenuse is the longest side, opposite the right angle. The opposite is opposite the angle we're using. And the adjacent is in between the right angle and the angle. So we use one of our ratios. So it's either sin, cos, or tan. Which one are we using? So we want the one with A and H in. We know A and H. We don't know what O is, and we're not trying to work it out. So the one with A and H in, or the one without O in, is ka. And that means that cos with the angle is equal to A over H. So let's substitute in what we've got. So this is cos X equals A, which is 8 over h, which is 10. So we know cos x equals 8 tenths, 8 over 10. And we use our calculator to find x. And to do that, to get cos away from x, we use shift cos. So above the cos button, you'll see a little cos minus 1 on your calculator. So we're going to say that x is equal to shift cos eight temps. So if we type this into the calculator, shift cos eight temps we get an answer of thirty six point eight six nine and so on. We'll give our answers to one decimal place. So that's 36.9. So we're going to say x is 36.9 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, one for you to try. So give this a go. Find the sides of angle BAC. So B to A to C is this angle here. That's our x, that's the angle we're using in the question. And now we can label the triangle. The longest side is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle we're using is called the opposite. And in between the angle and the right angle is called the adjacent. So which ratio are we using? Is it a sin, cos, or tan? We are using A and H. A and H are in the question. O isn't. We don't know what it is and we're not trying to work it out. 
So we're using ka again. So cos so cos with the angle equals a over h. So let's substitute in. So we've got cos x equals 5 over 9 to get x by itself we do the opposite of cos which is a shift cos so x is shift cos cos minus 1 5 ninths so let's type that into the calculator And to one decimal place, 56.3. So 56.3 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, another example. Find the sides of angle A, C, B. So A to C to B is this angle. We'll label the triangle. So the longest side is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle we're using is the opposite. And in between the angle and the right angle is the adjacent. So is this sin cos or tan? Which one are we using? So we want O and A. We don't want H. So we're using tan, toa. So we can write down that tan with the angle tan theta is O over A. Substituting in what we've got gives us tan X equals 6 over 5. To get X by itself, we shift tan. So X is shift tan, arc tan, 6 fifths. So let's type that into the calculator. Shift tan six fifths. And to one decimal place, 50.2. So it's 50.2 degrees to one decimal place. And one for you to try, so give this a go. Find the size of angle B, A, C. B to A to C, that's this angle. So we'll label it, the hypotenuse is the longest side. Opposite is opposite the angle we're using. And adjacent is between the angle and the right angle. So... Is it so, ka, or toa? Sin, cos, or tan, which ratio are we using? We want O and A, we don't want H. So it's toa. So we've got tan with the angle, tan theta is O over A. Substituting in what we've got in this question, that would be tan X equals 10 over 4. So to get x by itself, shift tan. So x will be shift tan 10 over 4, which we can type into the calculator. And that gives us 68.2. degrees to one decimal place and one more example so find the size of angle ABC ABC is this angle so we'll label the triangle H is the longest side O is opposite the angle we're using and A is in between the angle and the right angle so which ratio do we want? We want O and H. We don't want one with A in. So that's so. 
sine, so sin sine with the angle, sine theta is O over H. And substituting in, that gives us sine X is 5.5 over 8.2. To get X by itself, we shift sign, shift sign, so X is shift sign 5.5 over 8.2, which we type into the calculator. And that is 42.1 to one decimal place. And one for you to try, so give this a go. Find the size of angle BAC. So BAC, that's this angle at the top. And we'll label it. The hypotenuse, H is the longest side, opposite the right angle. Opposite the angle we're using is called O, the opposite. And in between the right angle and the angle is A, the adjacent. So we're using O and H this time. Or we're not using A. So it's sine again. So sine with the angle sine theta is O over H. So in this question, that means sine X is 7.6 over 9.1. And to get X by itself, we shift sign. So X will be equal to shift sign 7.6 over 9.1. So let's type that in and we get our answer of 56.6 .6 degrees to one decimal place. To finish up, we've got two questions here. Pause the video, give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, question one, find the size of angle BAC. So B to A to C, that's this angle. Let's start by labeling the triangle. So the hypotenuse is the longest side opposite the right angle. The opposite is opposite the angle we're using and the adjacent is in between the angle and the right angle. So which ratio will we be using so we want o and h we don't want a so it's so we're using sine so that will be sine theta so means sine theta is o over h and let's substitute in what we've got so that will be sine x is 9.5 over 15. To get x by itself, we shift sign. So we've got shift sign 9.5 over 15, which we can type into the calculator. And that is 39.3. So X is 39.3 degrees to one decimal place. And question two, the angle BAC. BAC is this angle. The hypotenuse is the longest side. O is opposite the angle we're using. And A is in between the angle and the right angle. So is it a sin, cos or tan? We want O and A, or we don't want H, so it's tan. So toa means 
tan with the angle equals O over A. So tan X is 12 over 8. To get X by itself, we shift tan, arc tan, so shift tan 12 eighths, and we type that into the calculator. So shift tan 12 eighths, and our answer is 56.3. degrees to one decimal place.